say the last section of chapter three is called multiplication and division properties. Uh, there's definitely some years where uh, three level will not do 3.6 multiplication and division properties, but um, I like to still do it because every now and then throughout the rest of the book, it will show up on um, some of the proofs that we're going to do. So rather than just skipping it, I still like to at least give you a basic introduction into it, and that's the goal for today. So uh, let's take a look at this first little problem in the daily vitamin section here. It says that um, these are angle bisectors. And it says that MSO is 32, and this is 32. Hopefully you can see that if they're angle bisectors, that these both have to be <clears throat> 32 as well. And more importantly, hopefully you can see that these two are both going to be 64 and they're going to be congruent to each other. And that's an example of what we call multiplication property. Okay, so let's, uh, let's lay out what multiplication property says. So the multiplication property says that if you have congruent angles or segments and they are multiplied by the same amount, usually by two or three, then you're going to end up with congruent angles or segments in the end. And likewise, division property basically says that if you have congruent angles or segments and they're divided by the same amount, usually by two or three again, then you're going to end up with congruent angles or segments. Um, when we look at these two properties, you're going to end up using the multiplication property when you start with smaller uh, angles or segments and you conclude that the bigger angles or segments are congruent to each other. And vice versa, the division property starts with the bigger angles or segments congruent and then concludes with the smaller angles or segments congruent. Also, there's two things you need um, in order to, to do the multiplication or division property in a proof. You need one congruent statement, and you need two bisect, trisect, or midpoint statements. Okay, and let's, uh, let's see how that works out in an actual proof by flipping over to the next page. Okay, here we are on the next page. KMR is congruent to VTW. Uh, these are trisected. These are all trisected right here. So you have a congruent statement and two trisect statements. So because of that, and because I'm starting with the smaller angles congruent, I can conclude that the entire angles are congruent to each other by multiplication property, by a factor of three. So that means that KMU <clears throat> is equal to congruent to angle VTS. So the first step will just be all these givens. And my second step, because I've got the congruent statement and I've got two trisect statements, I can now go ahead and jump to my concluding statement, KMU is congruent to angle VTS by, and because I'm going from smaller to bigger, multiplication property, so I'm going to say if congruent angles are multiplied by the same amount, in this case it's by three, then I'm going to end up with congruent angles. And I'm going to ask you to, to actually write that out. I know you're, you're probably rolling your eyes right now, but I'm going to ask you to multiply that out. Okay, let's try a harder one. So in this one, I'm missing some points here. This is congruent to this, and this is congruent to this. 
which hopefully you can see right away that that means that the entire length is congruent to the entire length by addition property. So those entire lengths are congruent to each other. That's my congruent statement. I've also got two midpoint statements. So this is one and this is part two, two midpoint statements. And because of that, I can conclude that by a factor of two that this is congruent to that. Okay, so let's write this out. Step one, these guys go there. Step two, I know that JR is congruent to SI by addition property. Step three, I know that R is a midpoint of JY, and I know that I is a midpoint of SN. That's just given. And now I can say that I can conclude that JY is congruent to SN by the multiplication property. So if congruent segments are multiplied by the same amount, then I'm going to have congruent segments. Now I will point out that the book does add another step right here in saying that um, JY is equal to 2 times JR and uh, SN is equal to 2 times SI, but I'm going to tell you that I don't need you to include that step to do the multiplication property. Okay, so you'll get to do one last step. All right, let's finish up with this last one here. So angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, and hopefully you can see just from that that this is going to be congruent to this. A couple ways you can do that. You can either do steps of congruent angles are congruent, or you can do subtraction property. Um, and because of that, you know that, well, because it's given, you know that these are bisected. And notice, you have two bisect statements. And I want to conclude that 3 is congruent to 4. And notice that those are half half of the, uh, the red angles there that are congruent to each other. So this is going to be an example of division property. So let's, uh, let's do this. So let's start with angle 1. Um, actually, yeah, let's start with angle 1 congruent to angle 2. It's given. And then let's establish that um, angle ESP and angle OPS are straight. Uh, you can assume that from the diagram. And then angle ESP is congruent to angle OPS because if they're straight angles, then they're congruent to each other. They're both equal to 180 degrees. And now, because of Um, steps one and three, I can say by subtraction property that angle ESN is congruent to angle OPN. Subtraction. Now in step five, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my bisects, my two bisect statements. And now, from steps four and five, I can jump to step six and say that angle three is congruent to angle four, and that's going to be by the division property. So it's going to be if congruent angles are divided by the same amount, in this case by two, then you have congruent angles. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too difficult, um, and I'm going to give you a chance to go ahead and try some of the, some of the problems on your own now.
right